fantastic GPU pricing is showing up in an insane way. We got a good look at the Earth from beyond the moon and AMD's market share is at an all time low. Let's get into the hot news, everybody. I'm your Brett host. We're going to be going over the hottest tech news that I can find on the internet while you enjoy your breakfast. And today's top story is about a deal on a graphics card that we have not seen in many ages. This is something that just brings me all the way back to 2018, kind of after the mining crash, where we started seeing new GPUs sell for way under MSRP. And that's exactly what's happening with this RX 6500 XT. Now, this is a graphics card that I will admittedly say that I am not a huge fan of just due to the fact that it lacks certain features like H.264 encoding, as well as being on smaller PCI Express lanes, which could lead to performance bottleneck issues. Overall, it was an underwhelming card when AMD announced it. It kind of had its own place in the market of just being a replacement for the 5500 XT, but actually being worse. However, at the price point that we actually saw it at yesterday, it came in at $100 after after an $80 mail-in rebate, which is just a spicy deal. Again, something we have not seen in years. This GPU, the 6500 XT, had it originally sold for $100, I would have been way more positive about it in the cut corners that AMD took on this graphics card. That feels really appropriate, and it finally got down to there. However, it was quickly snatched up, and currently the price on it is a little bit more than that, it's still going for $170 after an $80 mail-in rebate, which again, just shows the incentives that are going behind trying to get rid of some of the stock that companies are having. They're holding on to a lot of graphics cards. And so selling them quickly does appear to be in the company's interest, except for, okay, now that I've refreshed the page, the, the deal's back, it's $100 again. That's That was a live transition on Hot News. The GPU is back to $100, that's crazy. Honestly, a very good deal. If you don't need any sort of encoding, if you're not doing any sort of video editing or you're not doing any sort of streaming, this GPU can actually do very well in games for $100. Are you kidding me? That is a phenomenal deal. I was gonna talk about this Sapphire Pulse, which was the cheapest option besides the other one at $150, but it doesn't matter anymore. $100 for a 6500 XT. Kyler, are you blown away by this? I, I'm blown away by the character marks that I just heard. It, it, it went up in price, and then as I refreshed it, it went back down in price, and now it's at 100 bucks. You gonna buy one? I might. You might? Just, just, just to do it. Just to do it. That sounds exactly why I would buy a PlayStation 5 God of War Ragnarok bundle that's open box at a Best Buy near me, even though I don't need it. Guys, let me know what you think of this 6500 XT going for $100. Are you picking one of these up? Is this in your alley? Are you excited about GPU prices returning to normal, at least on AMD's side? It looks like there's been a huge decline in the pricing there. NVIDIA, we're seeing things get to MSRP, which is good, but not these half off deals that we're seeing on some of these AMD cards. Let me know what you think about the $100 RX 6500 XT down below in the comments while I let you know about today's video sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Outer. My friends, if you've been looking to spend more time outside, look no further than Outer because they create durable and eco-conscious outdoor furniture designed to help people live better outside. They completely reimagine the outdoor living experience from the ground up. Outer is sustainable. They have an all weather wicker frame, which is made from recycled plastic bottles. They plant loads of trees to fight deforestation. They're climate neutral certified and every product is fully recyclable and outer is made from the best materials. Their patented outer shell fabric is UV protected and stain resistant. So it keeps things looking brand new for up to 10 years. Plus the all weather wicker and rust proof legs make them the most durable outdoor furniture brand. Plus it's extremely comfortable too. My family and I have been using the outer outdoor furniture for months now. It allowed us to enjoy the end of the summer season. Most of the fall outside and even in the winter because we have a new overhang we can actually enjoy it outside as long as we can have some sort of heater near us. Outer even sells a fire pit table so you don't have to stay inside even in winter. And finally Outer is risk free. If you don't love your outer sofa they offer free return shipping and 100% money back guarantee within 14 days of delivery. But mine's staying put right in my backyard. I've been using it for months. We've enjoyed so many movie nights especially with the projector that we set up back there. We have enjoyed every second on our outer sofa. And that's not all. Outer is charitable. Outer is a one 
1% for the planet member, which means they give 1% of annual revenue to environmental nonprofits. In 2021, a big portion of their revenue went to One Tree Planted to reforest the earth where they committed to planting 1 million new trees. They're also a climate neutral certified brand as of last year. So if you're looking to live better outside, look no further than Outer. You can use our link in the video description, which is liveouter.com forward slash UFD tech, and you'll get $200 off your purchase of outdoor furniture with them and free shipping. Use liveouter.com forward slash UFD tech so they know we sent you and one of their recent collections sold out in 24 hours. So trust me, you don't want to miss this deal. Big thanks to Outer for sponsoring today's video. You know what isn't as down as the 6500 XT crypto stonks? Bitcoin up a little bit to be at 16473, Ethereum up 4.4% to be at 1221, and Dogecoin up 8.2% to be at 10.2 cents. Seems like the crypto market stabilizing after the FTX debacle that we've been discussing, but it doesn't look like deals are stabilizing. Obviously, I've already talked about the $100 graphics card. Reese, what do you have for us on the rest of the UFD deals? Hey, welcome back to UFD deals, bringing the host tech deals out on the internet. Me, Reese, you viewer, we make deal good, yes. Anyway, we have the Gigabyte G30 for WQC ASA. I hate these model numbers. I, I really do. But either way, it's a 34 inch 3440 by 1440 VA panel with 144 hertz refresh rate, one millisecond response time, and a 1500R curve going for $329.99, which is $120 off. And then we have the HyperX Solocast, which is their entry-level USB condenser microphone going for $29.99, which is half off. But then we have its bigger brother, the HyperX Quadcast, which is a multi-pattern USB condenser microphone going for $89.99, which is $50 off. And with that, I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Don't forget, you can find the links for all of these in the video description. And until then, cheers. Thank you, my boy. And I, you know what? It made me happy that you did UFD deals. I hope this makes you happy. NASA has pictured the moon and the earth together with the Orion space probe, which is in retrograde orbit around the moon. And what we can find is that this is gorgeous. Look at this Orion probe, just taking a picture of the moon and the earth right next to each other. I love this photo. It makes me feel so small in like a really happy way. The test for the Orion space probe going really well for NASA. It's only completed 31 out of its 124 core tests, but they do seem to be going swimmingly and it does appear like things are a go for man returning to the moon. And man getting electric truck is something I wanna say about myself sometime soon. And with a place that's a little close to me, Lordstown, Ohio, finally shipping the first 500 units of the Lordstown Endurance electric vehicle pickup truck, which is, a, it's an interesting looking design. I'm actually part of a Facebook page where somebody took a picture of this and showed that it was in town just yesterday. So it does look like Lordstown is shipping these out. It's about $65,000 from what I gathered. I don't know too much about the Lordstown Endurance to say whether or not I would want this one, but it does appear to be like a decent entry into the EV truck market. Only a 200 mile range, so really only an around town truck. But the competition is heating up, and especially with all the ups and downs that Lordstown has gone through since they announced this truck. It's actually really impressive that they're even shipping it out in the first place. And NVIDIA is ready to ship out, or Valve rather, is ready to ship out the Portal RTX update, which should be coming out December 8th. This is gonna be released on that date, and they've given details on the recommended specs you should be looking for if you wanna play this game. Minimum 1080 30, you're gonna need an RTX 3860 with DLSS 2. Yeah, my friends, an RTX 3060 is only good for 1080p 30. The RTX 3080 is gonna get you 1080 60, and the RTX 4080 with DLSS 3 is gonna get you 4K 60. It's looking like these are very beefy requirements. However, it's not yet known whether or not AMD is gonna actually be able to support this update. No report on that whatsoever. We'll have to keep you updated and see if AMD will even be able to run Portal RTX. But this might be one of the reasons why AMD's market share has dropped to its lowest point in many, many years. In yesterday's episode of Hot News, we talked about how AMD GPUs are at incredible price points. It makes so much sense to buy them if you're looking to just play video games. If you need CUDA or NVENC encoding, NVIDIA still makes a lot of sense. But when it comes to just pure frame rate in video games, AMD is very, very difficult to beat at the price points that they're offering, like $100 on a 6500 XT. But when it comes to things like Portal RTX, it's up in the air whether or not AMD is going to be supported, and that might help to lead to this graph, which is NVIDIA is up to 86% market share of the discrete GPU market, which means that AMD has dropped to its lowest point in many years, down to 10%, which is just 
significantly lower than where they've been. It was 20% in the previous quarter. So it's been halved even over the last three months. AMD really struggling to get their graphics cards into the PCs of gamers. I know that the hot news audience is definitely very more affectionate towards AMD graphics cards than it appears the general public is as a whole but it doesn't look good. And especially with Team Blue now providing their offerings with the A770, A750, and ARC A380, we might actually see a little bit more dwindling on that. It's hard to say whether or not the market share is gonna come out of AMD or Nvidia when it comes to Intel gaining. Maybe it'll be neither, and it'll bring new gamers into the fold who want to have an all Intel system. I, that doesn't make as much sense to me, but let me know how you make sense of it down below in the comments. With that, it's it's the final part of the Wednesday hot news. See you back here for more of the hottest tech news tomorrow.